What is going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jessie, and if you're new here, what's up? And if you're joining me again, welcome back. So I'm gonna do a quick video explaining how you can still be on track whenever you're going out on vacation. Maybe you're going away for a week um, and you're not gonna be in your normal routine. You know, maybe you have a three-day vacation. You know, what are you supposed to do, right? You know, what are your go-to items that you need to take with you or pack with you or purchase when you get there at a grocery store in order to stay on track? So I'm gonna be overlaying a bunch of different clips of different food items and snack items, um, but I'm just gonna run down a, a list of different things that I I find are super important in order to stay on track and to hit your macros. I will do a part two video on how to eat out, what to order, you know, how to talk to the waiter or waitress in order to like be on track. And um, you know, how do you pick something on the menu that's going to, you know, hit your macros? How do you guesstimate? Like, how do you track these things? So that's gonna be another video after this one but um, basically you know what i like to look at is what are our two important or our most important factors in terms of of staying on track um hitting our macros or just you know following through in order to see weight loss on the scale right and that's going to be hitting your calorie goal because that's going to make sure that you're maintaining your calorie deficit because the only way to lose fat is to maintain that calorie deficit and then you need to make sure you're prioritizing your protein protein is the most satiating macronutrient it is going to keep you full and satisfied especially when you're out and about and you are on vacation, you don't want to be, you know, leaving yourself hungry to where you're going to be wanting to nibble in, uh, I would say in the cabinet, we're not home, but you know, take little nibbles of things that you shouldn't, you know, you're going to be craving because you're going to be in a new town, you're going to be shopping, you're going to be smelling all the good stuff, the burgers, the fries, the, you know, baked cookies, there's a lot of good things whenever you go on vacation that you can smell. I know I look for the best food places when I go on vacation, but unless I'm in some type of weight loss phase or challenge or some sort, I know that I have to be dedicated. So make sure that anywhere that we um, are, we are prioritizing protein or we have a protein option with us. And that brings us to like protein bars. You know, so how do we prioritize protein when we're on vacation? That's having things like protein powder with you, you know, even if you get little packets or like I like to do, um, you know, bring little baggies of your protein powder with you. Now, I don't recommend just taking protein powder and mixing it with water because that's not, I mean, sure you can do that. Say you're gonna wanna like have something before you go to dinner, that's a great option to drink a, a quick shake. But what I like to do is I like to add it to something. So what are quick, easy things that we can have for breakfast? You know, oatmeal. Okay, well, what's gonna be my protein source? I probably can't really get eggs or whatever, you know, because if you're gonna be gone for a week or, or gone for three days, you know you're not gonna eat out every single meal, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And if you do, granted, that's gonna be the next video that you're gonna watch. But if you are, you know, somebody who knows that you're probably gonna eat out once, maybe twice um, when you're on vacation, having things like packaged oatmeal, uh, oatmeal as well, packaged oatmeal. Um, there's 100 calorie packs, there's low sugar packs, there's little canisters. Now just make sure when you get the little canisters, we are not getting ones that say like 60 carbs, 45 carbs. Like you wanna be very smart because you know you're gonna be eating out. You know that you're gonna be having bigger meals than you typically would when you're at home, right? So you wanna make sure with your carbs and your fats that you're being very particular with the things that you choose. You wanna be able to save as many macros and as many calories as you possibly can for these meals that you're gonna be out and about, right? So that's why I always do like the 100 calorie packets um, or I just make sure we're at about 30-ish grams um, or less. And then you can make the oats and you can put a scoop of protein powder in it after it's done cooking. Or you could always do like an over, over, uh, overnight oats. So that would entail that you need to get a little small thing of almond milk, but you would take your oats, you would take your protein powder, and then you would just pour almond milk into it where it's a little soupy, let it sit overnight, and then you can have a tablespoon of peanut butter and maybe a handful of blueberries right on top or a banana right on top. Um, I, of course, stick with berries are a better option because of the high fiber content, which is going to keep you fuller longer, as well as they're a lot lower carbohydrate. And if we're trying to be particular with carbs, especially because we know we're going to be eating out, um, then I would probably do something like that instead. Um, you know, other little options, if you're not really going to be eating out every single meal, you could do things like, um, where you bring home extra chicken. Say you go out to dinner and you're gonna keep it very simple. Well, you can always take home leftovers if it's not something that's like, against your macros, right? Like if it's not like a really hefty meal, like chicken Alfredo and you're like, yeah, I'll bring home half my Alfredo and then you're gonna eat it. I wouldn't do that, but I would be, you know, smart in the terms of get simple um, proteins, uh, carbs, and then whatever your fats are gonna be, avocado or maybe it's, uh, what's it called? 
and maybe you're gonna have like cheese or, or maybe you put bacon on something, whatever. But in terms of that, you know, always bring home extra protein or ask, can I get a double serving of protein? Then you can bring your protein home. You know you're gonna have a microwave whenever you're at a, a, at a hotel. Um, and then you can have these steamable bags of rice. Even if you get like these frozen bags of veggies, you just do one or two bags at a time to store in your little mini fridge. And then you can steam a bag of veggies and have that cooked in, in the fridge. Um, and then you have a bag of rice and then you can have your chicken. Okay, of course now you're like, well, it's kind of boring, right? So you can always get little the dollar salt and pepper shakers. Um, you can always get little seasonings like um, the everything bagel seasoning, small stuff, right? Because we know we're not gonna be gone for too long. Once again, if you have these seasonings and maybe you're not flying, or if you are, you can just bring baggies or little smaller portions instead of like the whole thing. Um, but in, in terms of that, that's where you could also go to the store and you can get things like um, light Italian fat-free uh, dressing, um, especially if you're gonna be gone for a little bit longer duration, getting something that's like a dollar fifty two dollars it's gonna save you a lot more, uh, uh, it's gonna save your macros in the long run. Uh, you might not use all the container, you might not be able to bring the container back with you if you're flying, but in terms of trying to stay on track with your macros, you know, two dollars and maybe not using all of it, uh, it is going to be a better trade off than not really having any, like eating boring meals, right? I would rather eat delicious meals than boring meals. Um, other things that you can get is, let's say tuna packets are super awesome. So you can get like the Joseph Peter wraps. I love, love, love those. Um, or maybe these low carb tortillas. And you can always, always get like the, the on the go tuna packets. And then um, they make, I like going to Quick Trip. I, I sometimes take from the gas station a few packets, but they have packets of, of fat free or light mayonnaise. So then you could do salt, pepper, tuna, mayonnaise, and then you could do the Joseph Peter wrap and make like a, a, a kind of like a, a sandwich or a wrap of a tuna tuna wrap. Wow, I just did the same thing twice. But you could do something like that where you have high protein. The Joseph Peter wrap typically has five to six grams of protein in it, um, and you feel satisfied and delicious because you're high protein, um, lower carb, and you had like a nice little wrap that you get to eat. Now, of course, you might want to eat something with that. So that's where you're, you know having these berries, having like an apple or something um, along with this high protein meal is going to be very very important and of course you have to think my fruits I might not be able to store as many berries in the fridge that's where you would get zippy bags and zippy bags are going to be a lot more condensing than like a plastic container so even if you did buy a couple of different like blueberries strawberries uh, maybe even raspberries or something you can always take them out of the packaging, wash them, and then put them in a zippy bag and store that in your little mini fridge. Um, and then bananas, apples, uh, oranges, grapefruit, those are always, I mean, I would pick grapefruit because they're a little bit lower carbohydrate for a giant citrus um, fruit. And having something simple like a tuna wrap with the lower carb, higher protein tortilla, as well as um, you know something like an apple or something like a grapefruit or even mixed berries is going to be so much more satisfying because you are eating eating a lots of fiber, lots of protein, and it's going to keep you satisfied. Um, so I would really think of these options of more whole foods based alternatives before just reaching for a protein bar. But that's where it brings me when you're out and about when you're traveling, you're, you're walking um, around the city, and you know, your cravings are hitting, what do you do? Whip out a protein bar. Now, my I know there's a lot of options of protein bars. Like, what do you do? There's so many. My rule of thumb to you is make sure when we're choosing a protein bar, it's around 300 calories or less. And your protein, I typically would stick with around um, a 20 grams of protein. There are so many bars that are like 12 grams of protein, 15 grams of protein. 15 is not too bad, but you know, if we're really trying to put a, um, a halt on our hunger, and we really want to have a good balance of macronutrients between the carbs, the fat, and the protein in a protein bar. It doesn't make sense to eat a, a 250 grams, uh, I mean 250 calorie bar with, with 12 to, to 15 grams of protein, uh, 12 fat, and then you have like 35 carbohydrates. The balance just doesn't make sense because the protein just isn't high enough to suffice the carbs and the fat. And it just makes sense maybe to me, um, as I would try and convey it to you, is that, you know, whenever you're trying to hit your protein goal as your prioritization, you want to try and have that as one of the highest macronutrients in the thing that you're eating um, 
in terms of a bar because you are trying to save your macros for later in the afternoon, you know, for your meals that you're gonna be eating out. So that's why 20 is a good justification because once you start getting into the lower ranges, then the carbs and the fat just offset it and it just doesn't make sense because you could just choose so many better options with the same carbs and fat, but with a higher protein, right? So that's how I would convey it. If you compared two bars and you had one that had the same 35 grams of carbs or 20, 20 five grams of carbs and uh, nine to 12 fat, one has 12 grams of protein and one has 20, you'd probably choose the one that has 20 because it's gonna make you fuller for longer. So, you know, those that's where things would be like your Quest bars. Um, I love the Cliff, Cliff bars, um, but the, the, the uh, it's, it's on the screen, the protein ones. Um, that have 20 grams of protein, not the basic ones. Those are like 45 grams of carbs. That's a lot of carbs with a lot of fat and barely any protein. So not the energy bars, but the protein bars. And then there is, um, I'm trying to think of some of the other ones that I showed you guys. Um, 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 nope, can't think of it. I mean, I have my level one bars. Those are my favorite, but you can't buy those at the store. So um, that's something that you guys could, of course, purchase and then have those just ready to go before your trip. Um, but yeah, just be smart with the bars that you get uh, and, and of course, take that with you. You always want to be prepared. You always want to have snacks on the go. And so whether that is you having an apple in your bag and a protein bar and maybe you want to bring some almonds or cashews or pistachios, nuts are also a great option. So having things like that with you to, to subside the cravings whenever you're really, really craving something um, instead of choosing what your brain wants, which is easy and convenient, ice cream or something that's like at a food truck or something that's quick and fast food, you would just say, no, I'm going to stick to my macros and I'm going to eat a protein bar um, instead of those things, right? And you're going to feel so much better when you decide to make the harder decision, but you're prepared so it's convenient, so it's not going to be as hard, right? It's just the hard part is saying, I got to say no to my cravings because I made the decision to um, follow this program and to, you know, change my life by, you know, staying on track with my macros to lose weight. So I need to make the decision to myself that I'm going to eat my protein bar and stick to my macros. Um, so if I did display anything else on the screen, of course you guys saw it throughout everything. You know, I bring my Opti Greens with me to keep digestion on point. I know that my fruits and vegetables are gonna be very minimal. So I try to have my Microfactor uh, vitamin packets to make sure my immune health isn't compromised when I'm out and about uh, on vacation because I'm not prioritizing my uh, my fruits and veggies. But I also have my Opti Greens to help with the digestive enzymes, with the uh, probiotics, with um, just getting those 11 servings of veggies uh, and fruits. So. I can, of course, just keep everything rolling and I don't want to feel like I get hit by a bus when I come back from vacation because most of the time you guys get sick after vacation from flying and from, you know, seeing so many people and from, you know, being in a different environment and just, you know, your routine's just not the same. So because of that, you're throwing your body into like a whirlwind of like what it's not used to and then that can cause just some issues for your body to have immune issues it's not as strong so if we prioritize our health when we're on vacation before and after and during then that's going to subside any issues of you potentially getting sick which then of course is going to hurt your progress because you're going to have to take a few days off if not a week off from working out because you're sick and you need to recover and take care of your body to heal yourself um but just keep it simple make sure every day we are prioritizing our protein we are prioritizing the decisions that we make when we're not eating out. Um, and then we are going to be hopefully walking a lot more because we're going to be going to shops and we're going to be exploring and hopefully maybe you'll take a hike somewhere beautiful if you're going to the mountains. Um, you know, take that initiative to say, I know that I need to go walk today. So where can I explore today to just get that movement in? Most of the time on vacation, that's super easy. You don't have to worry too much about not being able to do that because, um, you know, you're going to be exploring wherever you're going. Um, and then the other thing is, is don't get caught up in the social gatherings and don't get caught up in, uh, you know, what everybody else is doing. Just know that you have a plan that you want to stick to. You have progress that you want to make and you want to change your life and stick to what you want to do. And it's possible on vacation. You just got to want it bad enough and you got to structure everything. You got to have a plan. You can't just go in blind and expecting to go on vacation and not have anything and then feel like you can hit your macros when you're, you might not be the greatest at it right now. You're learning. So this is going to be a learning curve for you. Um, so prioritize your protein, prioritize walking and prioritize your water because because a lot of times when you're on vacation, you're not drinking a lot because you're busy, but when you're dehydrated, your body is going to tell you it's hungry. So if you are making sure that you are drinking adequate water, you're making sure that you're hitting your protein and you're prioritizing protein in every single meal, 
then that already is going to subside your cravings. It's going to subside your hunger. And that is going to subside you from deviating from the plan and not executing what you have said you wanted to execute on. So those are my tips to help you guys when you're on vacation. I know it's summertime. I know it's the hardest time of the year um, or one of the hardest times of the year right now uh, to be able to stay to your program and stay on track. So hopefully these tips help you. Hopefully anything that I showed you on the screen, you guys, um, it, it helps you uh, to be able to know what to do, but just plan, prepare every day that you're gone on vacation. If you know you're going to a restaurant, go look at that restaurant, go look at the menu, prioritize what you're gonna get. And you have to tell your mind, no, that is my craving. I don't wanna get that, I need to get this. So you have to know the difference between your needs and your wants. And what you need is to stick to the program. And so you have to make sacrifices in every choice that you make when you're on vacation, but it doesn't mean you can't have fun. So I'm gonna share with you guys in the next video how you can go out to eat whether you're just going out to eat in general during summer on a weekend, or if you're on vacation and you need to go out to eat to stick to your macros and stay on track, um, it's, it's okay to enjoy, but it's also important to know I have to make smart decisions and I have to sacrifice sometimes. Um, so just remember that. I did forget one thing that I wanted to mention is don't forget that there are, you know, flavor enhancing waters, Mio's, um, you know, my uh, first form BCAAs, I love to drink those whenever I need something sweet to, that I'm craving and it's gonna hydrate me. And then from walking a lot, you know, it's gonna recover my muscles as well. So uh, just think of like zero calorie beverages. Of course, drink your 100 ounces of water, but find things that are gonna help curb your cravings. Chewing gum, uh, I love you know chewing on gum when I really want something sweet, but I know that I'm not hungry. And then doing something like a Mio beverage or a flavored water enhancer can really help curb cravings. But that's where I'm gonna leave it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want me to do a specific video that might help you along your journey that you want me to do, um, which I think I just repeated that twice, but it's fine. If you know, I'm just not good at ending videos, but just give me any ideas that you want in the comments below. I'd love to help you guys out and I'd love to make a video for you guys. Um, and if you had any questions with any of the products that I did overlay, then you know just shoot that down in the comments. Let me know. I can always individually message you and, and show you some of the things that I have um, in terms of what to buy. And then, um, yeah, you guys just subscribe because you're going to miss out on the next video if you don't. And I don't want you guys to miss out because this one's going to be a good one. Um, because everybody goes out to eat, but nobody really knows, or not many people really understand how to order it, like your meals in order to stay on track. So you don't wanna miss this video. Um, but thank you guys so much. And uh, hopefully we won't wait too long in between videos from now on to record, because I really wanna start showing up for you guys on YouTube, because I know it's really, really helpful for you guys and for my team um, in this eight week challenge that we're doing, our summer sprint challenge for first form. So, okay you guys. Well, I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye. I love, I love. Oh